Hello guys, what's the game act here? And uh, today's video is a bit different than, than my normal videos, no, my normal gaming videos, because today I'm going to show you how to mount an uh, external USB drive or use just USB flash stick or something like that um, uh, onto your uh, Ubuntu server. So um, I'm just going to use PuTTY. So I am in my server right now. So what we're going to do first is um, is log into root. Um, so we're going to sudo su and then type in your password. And now we're boots. So um, we first want to make a folder to um, to put to mount the drive in. So we're going to go to the uh, cd slash srv because that's where I want to put the folder in. You can also put it in. Um, in slash srv slash share or one of your other folders uh, then I'm going to make um, make their make directory external hard drive so um, now the directory is made as you see here external hdd so that is the um, that is the server what we're going to do then is um, look where the Look where the where my device where the device is located. To find the location of the of the external hard disk, you um, just go to blkit, and you see here there are two things. This is the main partition from um, what's it called from Linux. All the Linux stuff is in there. No Ubuntu. I mean, all the Ubuntu stuff is in there, and this is the external hard drive as you see here. Um, this is the external hard drive. So. What we're going to do then is mount um, slash dev slash sda1. You're just going to copy this, and then uh, you type the, um, the the location of the um, of the folder or the directory where you want to mount it in. So external hdd. Okay, this isn't going to work on my computer because uh, on my server because I am um, mounted it already. But for you, it will say um, like it mounted it, and I mounted it into the um, on my server. I mounted it into the share folder. So I'm just going to go to the uh, go to my folder where where my where the uh, external hard disk is already mounted in. Uh, that is in cd srv slash share slash um, EHDD 500 gigabytes. So as you see here, this is my whole whole folder here. Um, so what? So with you, it will um, with your external hard drive. You just go to um, CD slash SR CD slash SRV uh, and then slash EHDD or the name that you chose, the name of the directory that you made at the beginning to mount the folder in and uh, as you see here there is um, the direct the, uh, the I mounted the uh, thing on it the um, what's it called <laughs> I accidentally mounted the uh, whole uh, Ubuntu partition on it um, but that doesn't matter with you it will just see you will see the contents of your um, of your full of your uh, external hard drive uh, but the p now you just got it here, and I can show you. I can show you here that um, uh, when I go to SRV and then external hard disk drive, it's the wrong one to share because it's in share with with my computer. And you see here, these are exactly. This is the um, oh, grab this thing. Why can't I grab it? Um, these are exactly the same things, um, so that means that the that the drive is mounted on there. Um, so what you want to do next is because now if you shut down the it's just shut down the server and then start it up again, uh, it won't be mounted anymore. So you want to like uh, you want to do you want to make a, not another script you want to. Uh, configure that the server automatically mounts your computer when you start it up. Um, so what you're going to do is to edit nano slash etc slash fs tab 
and this is um, I already put it put my uh, external hard drive in here uh, but this is what it's but it looks like 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 um, like this this is what it looks like on your uh, on your server probably um, so what you want to do you have to edit this but before you can edit it you first need to remember you first need to uh, look up the um, UUID and um, and uh, yes and and which and the type of uh, and the file type so we're so to do that we're going to um, no we didn't change anything so okay um, so you're going to, to go to BL Kid again and then just um, look look at your uh, drive here at SDA one then go to UUID and just um, do that just write it down note it or something like that um, and if you did that you also have to note the file type with me it's NTFS uh, but with you it can also it can be something else so um, so that's actually all you need to know from this thing so let's go back to the FS tab oh wait let's do nano agency FS tab uh, then you just do enter from th from this thing here. I um, already did it. So um, then you're going to write down UUID like this with capitals and then equals five and then your number would mean it's different. But you just write your UUID here, space um, and then put the location where you mounted it on. So me, it's SRV slash share slash EH. HDD 500 gigabytes, um, but if you follow my instructions with you, it should be slash SRV slash slash external hard disk drive uh, or X or EHDD or whatever you um, you named it. So you write down the file location here. Then you do space and you write down the um, the file type. Uh, mine is NTFS, so I wrote down NTFS here. Then you get the um, the options, um, and the options are um, are a lot of sort of commands, or I don't know some some things that you can uh, that the uh, server does like option that are optional and that you can choose if you want to. So um, I just did the um, auto, and auto is that it will be um, mounted automatically. Uh, but it isn't. But uh, it it's not necessary. Um, so um, so you don't actually need to do that. I did R W, and that means mount, read, and write. So that's that you can. Uh, if you do R O, you uh, you mount it in read and only modes, and that means that you can't put any folders or delete folders or do that sort of stuff on it. Um, what I did too was I did user, and that means that you c that you uh, permit any user to uh, mount the file system, so everybody can do that. I just did that because I wouldn't wasn't sure if um, if if other users could do it, so um, I just did this: permit any user. And then uh, those are all the options that I did. You can uh, go to a site, uh, the help Ubuntu dot com. Put the link in the description, and there you can see yourself. Uh, all the options here. Um, then the next thing is dump, and that is um, is uh, if you uh, want to back up the uh, the file system. Uh, I just didn't didn't do that because I actually don't need it. You can um, do do one, but um, yeah, I can't really explain this. So um, so just go to the uh, to the um, to the website that I put in the description. Then you have um, Pass. Uh, that's the other zero. That's F uh, F S C K order. That's sort of the I call it fix, but um, the fix order because it sort of actually checks your device for errors. F S C K, um, and it um, and if you uh, the f check your device for errors, uh, so you can uh, so if there are any errors errors or something like that, it um, it checks it and it repairs them. Uh, I just put it on zero. Do not check because uh, I tried to do it one time before, and then it says that there were some uh, errors that could cause severe file damage. So I thought I don't want to do that to, to that to happen again. 
So I just put it on zero, but you can just check it yourself or try it out what works on you. Maybe I was wrong, maybe it was something different. So um, that's actually of these options and the dump and the pass F6 or it's just all up to you. Um, you just choose yourself. So once you do have done that, you just press uh, Control O and then Enter and then Control X and then you wrote it. Um, now, uh, when you just restart it, I can show you. Um, sudo, no, not sudo. Let's see here. Oh, oh no. Shut down. Shut down. W R now. So it closed. So the server started up again. And here we go. And as you see, when I go to my CD slash uh, uh, SRV slash share slash X uh, EHDD five five hundred GB LS, as you see here, it's all mounted again. Um, and that's really awesome because otherwise you have to go to your server and then mount it again and again and again every time you start it up. Um, you can also have a server that's on a whole time, but it uses a lot of um, power and you actually don't need it in the night and stuff. So um, I just turn it off and in the morning I turn it on again and um, that's actually it. So um, I hope I uh, explained it well to you and I hope I... Um, and I hoped I uh, I helped you. Um, so um, yeah, that was the video for today. Um, thank you guys for watching, and please like, subscribe, and uh, comment if you have any questions. Um, and uh, goodbye. Right click it, and here's your house. Oh, the torch is yellow. Very good. Okay. The Jarl can be found in the grave, probably sitting on his Jarl's throne, not over here in the wizard's laboratory. Sorry, guys. I think I found someone who can help you. Probably only a quite suitable a shovel for the dirt and for efficiency.